Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Rimple, Paralympian keynote speaker and creator of the Resilience Toolbox. And in this video, I'm gonna chat with you about a few tips to help you understand how you can transition from your rehab facility into the real world, okay? So when, we, when I think back, for example, to my time at Lyndhurst in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the rehab facility, I was very lucky in the sense that my home was already accessible because my dad had a spinal cord injury four years before I did. So we already had the accessible washroom. We already had elevator lifts in our home. Um, we already had the carpet removed and hardwood flooring put down. However, I remember the difficulty that my dad had transitioning home, what I learned from seeing him transition, <clears throat> as well as as I was surrounded by other patients, what they were experiencing, what you might be experiencing about the fear of, you know, will my home be accessible? Will it be ready? Will it be accessible? Will it be ready in time? Is it, how much is it gonna cost? How am I gonna get around from a transportation point of view? You know, all of these different um, key areas, like, will my benefits run out? Am I gonna be an inpatient or an outpatient? Am I gonna receive less care than I got here? And is that care gonna be any good? You know, there's so many things that are probably going through your head about what that transition is going to look like when you start to step away from the current rehab facility that you're in or when your support network changes. So what I wanna do is share with you both the number one thought and an exercise in order to help you get your mind right and refocus on what that new area of your life is gonna look like, what that transition is gonna look like. And so first, if I hop over here, the key point to focus on is, is to focus on what you can control. Okay, focus on what you can control. And I'm gonna see if I can find something here to highlight this. I'm gonna make this one orange for today. Focus on what you can control and take a piece of paper. You can do this with me. I want you to draw, I want you to just create two columns and on the left-hand side, literally write down no control. And on the right-hand side, I want you to write down control. And I want you to start to think about what you're focused on as you are finding yourself worried, fearful, possibly con and concerned about this transition. So using Lyndhurst Spinal Cord Rehab Facility in Toronto as an example, you know, as I speak with patients there, their fear is leaving Lyndhurst. And you can insert whatever facility you're at. Um, Project Walk is another one that comes to mind. I'm trying to remember some of the other ones that I know in the United States. But regardless, whatever your facility is, wherever you're at doing your rehab at right now. Additionally, living in Canada, winter is fearful. Winter is fearful for people who are, <laughs> winter is fearful for people who are able-bodied, let alone people who have a disability. So let's just make sure we always remind ourselves about that one. But the winter, the winter is nothing we have control over. So we need to shift our mindset. We need to focus on what can we control as we make that transition. Okay, so what are, I want you to do this with me. You could pause this video right now and list them out on your own, but I'll do a couple together with you. You know, what are some of the key areas that you do have control over as you make your transition? You have control over things like your attitude, you have control over the decisions you make. Maybe not every single one, but you are still likely an adult. Even if not as a teenager, you have the ability to make your own decisions. You can, you are in control about accepting responsibility. You have control over whether you do or do not ask for help. So that should actually be an A. Uh, you have control over your 
diet, your nutritional decisions, you have control over your behavior surrounding your sleep, you have control in your discipline for your bowel and bladder routine. And finally, you also, as an example, have control over your decision making about planning ahead. You know, there's transportation, like, you know, in Toronto, it's organizing wheel trans service or, you know, scheduling some help from some friends. Like, you have control over all of these things. So, my question for you to ask is when you fear leaving your facility, when you fear winter coming around and you start to identify what are the key areas that you do have control over, attitude, decisions, accepting responsibility, asking for help, your nutrition, sleep, bowel and bladder routine, planning ahead. I want you to think about and ask yourself the question, how many of these items that you list that you do have control over require you to be at a rehab facility. When we go back to this list, all of the things that you do have control over do not require you to be at that facility. All of those things you do have control over are irrelevant to whether winter is here or not. You have to do the exact same things in the summertime and you have to do the exact same things in the winter time. And so you have to ask yourself the question back at the top here is to remind yourself to focus on what you can control. And if you can focus on what you can control, this decision making, this mentality is what's going to help you transition from your rehab facility or the care that you're currently getting over into the real world. So with that, I hope you found this video helpful. Please share it with anyone who you think could also benefit from it. Again, my name is Kevin Rempel. Signing off, I'll see you again in the next video. And remind, remember that there is life after a spinal cord injury. See you guys later.